patch notes. I was here. Players, as I'll be covering the final balance state of all the Overwatch 1 heroes compared to their Overwatch 2 Season 1 state. My name is CarQ, and let's get things started. Uh, I like to put my shoes out of the whole time, though. I don't know. I'm patient, then. As we go in order, beginning with tanks, let's talk about all the tanks' roll passive. All tanks gain 30% knockback resistance and 30% lower ult generation from damage taken and healing taken. Keep that in mind as we move along, beginning with D.Va. First, her total HP has been increased by 50 and has a 350 white health, 300 armor split instead of 300. The spread angle of her primary fire has been tightened and reduced to 3.5 degrees, which means it's a buff. Less pellets will be flying and flaring out. Defense Matrix's duration has been increased from 2 to 3 seconds, a massive buff if you that's, ask me. Yeah, that's Booster's well, damage has been increased from 10 to 25, and melee no longer cancels the boosters. This allows you to double melee in Overwatch 2 in one booster usage, which is much more consistent. Yo, the shut up, cooldown went down from 8 to 7 seconds, and finally her call mech ultimate had its cost reduced by 12%, a minor buff to help baby diva ruin mech a little bit quicker. Doomfist has been converted from a DPS to a tank. His HP was increased by 200 from 250 to 450. His damage per pellet was nerfed from 6 to 5, but the reload time was buffed to compensate from 0.65 yeah, seconds to I mean... 0.4 seconds per shot. It basically comes back a little quicker. Rocket Punch received a big damage nerf as its impact damage was reduced from 50 to 100 to 15 to 30 at most. The wall yeah, impact damage was reduced from 50 to 150 to 20 to 40. Maximum charge time was reduced from 1.4 to 1 second, which is a nice buff to build it up a little quicker. Despite the damage nerfs, he can actually multi-punch now on multiple targets. That's Uppercut cool, has yes. been removed and has been replaced with Power Block. Doomfist now enters a blocking stance, reducing damage taken from the front by 80% and blocking 90 total damage now causes Doom's gauntlet it. to be supercharged. The supercharged gauntlet empowers the next rocket punch to deal 50% more damage, you. travel 50% faster and no, further, no, and targets impacting the wall will actually now be stunned from 0 0.5 uh, to 1 second, which scales with the punch charge. I mean, my Overwatch 1, okay. Seismic Slam had two behaviors. If you use it on flat ground, it goes straight. But if you do it over a ledge, you can do a slower one. In Overwatch 2, Seismic Slam changes depends on- Chaz, Jack, Chaz, is, is it what it's actually or not? You think? ...where you're aiming it. So you can go Chat horizontal thoughts? if aiming straight ahead, or very vertical if you're aiming high. Oh, man. It also now creates a large shockwave upon landing, dealing 50 flat damage. Seismic can now be cancelled as well when pressing the ability again, allowing you to carry your momentum like so. Meteor Strike, his ultimate, had its cast time reduced from 1 to 0 0.5 seconds, so notice it's much quicker now. The Wait, outer ring damage has been reduced from 15 to 200 at most to 15 to 100 damage at most. The inner I'm ring not, at 300 damage is still unchanged, so you can still one-shot. The knockback on it, though, has been removed in Overwatch 2, but it will now the slow the movement speed of enemies hit by 50% for 2 seconds as an added effect. Doomfist's passive, the best defense, was changed from this dark blue temp shield to green over health, which is actually a small buff because of their properties. Temp shields in Overwatch 1 still grant full alt charge, except for Ball, we'll talk about that later, whereas over health grants half the normal amount of alt charge in Overwatch 2. Junker Queen is one of the three Wait, new half? heroes added to Overwatch 2 when compared to the end of Overwatch 1, and here's a quick rundown. She has 425 HP, oh she's defined by her passive called Adrenaline Rush, QC. where every yes. single point of damage inflicted via a wound is directly translated to a point of healing for Junker Queen herself. Her shotgun deals 80 damage per shot with 6 ammo. Her secondary Ch fire I is Jack and Blade and is a little bit. knife that deals 80 damage on impact and 15 wound damage over time. If you miss the knife, however, you can inflict multiple wounds as you recall it through multiple enemies. Her commanding shout is a Good. buff ability that gives Junker Queen herself 200 ML over health, while nearby allies only gain 50 minutes. over health. Right, Everyone eight. also gains 30% movement speed. Carnage That's is this really giant axe swing that deals 90 damage on impact and 40 wound damage. And finally, her rampage is her ultimate that can deal 100 wound damage so really close, I guess you can do per enemy hit and applies the anti-heal to all right enemies in e range. Orisa has been completely happen. reworked in Overwatch 2. Her HP has increased from 450 to 550 with a 275 health, 275 armor split. Her primary Dude. fire, Fusion Driver, has been augmented now, in which she now fires 10 Excellent. rounds of plasma projectiles per second, which deal 12 damage each. It uses Excuse a heat mechanic instead of ammo, you know, where firing continuously it. increases the heat. 
If you overheat, you're stuck on a 3 second cooldown. She is a lot more mobile with no movement penalty anymore while Chat. firing. Her halt has been replaced with any- I think she's overall really good. The problem that I have with this is that her left leg is now boring. It's literally just- it's- Her left leg was already kind of lame, but now it's like way worse. Energy Javelin, like, which deals 60 The quality of life as a character is improved, the enemy collides but on the, wall, the game of the player is just kind of boring. I feel like with the left leg. still exists, but lasts a little longer at 4.5 seconds, and now it grants 125 I don't know how many fucking hours. It also prevents critical hits, aka headshots, and it reduces heat generation by 50%. Fortifies are pretty loaded ability. Arissa's like, protective just, barrier has been replaced with anymore. Javelin Spin, which increases her movement speed by 50% while active and can deal up to 90 damage, destroys all incoming projectiles similar to a defense matrix, and can constantly knock people back. Motherfucker, why do you have Arissa's all spin has also been not like you Thank you. I'll try that out. Thank you, man. Sitting home and eating toenails. What's what you got Again. Place with Terra Surge, where she will gain all the effects of Fortify while active, will pull nearby enemies in, and then it ramps up damage the These longer you want to charge it up. Up to a maximum of 500 damage, which is indicated in the center UI. There's no shot then. I want to start with Reinhardt's Overwatch 1 passive, Steadfast, which has been removed because of the new tank roll passive that takes its place, which is again 30% knockback resistance and 30% lower ult generation from healing and damage taken. Reinhardt had his HP increase from oh, 500 wow, to 625, Jesus. plus 25 white well, health, minute, and plus 100 armor. His shield health went down from 1600 to 1200, and its regen rate is a lot slower, from 200 to 144 HP per second. His charge had some big buffs though. Its steering turn rate has increased significantly, allowing you to make some big curves. It can be manually can cancelled so you can yeah, just cancel, stop yeah. before you fall off a ledge, and its cooldown has been decreased from 10 to 8 seconds. With 3 straight buffs, there has to be one nerf, which was its damage from 300 to 225. The wait, last wh wait, what? Wait, what? There has to be one nerf, which was its damage from 300 to 225. The last adjustment to Rhinus's fire strike damage, which Wait, went down from 100 to 90, but he holds two charges now, so that's pretty cool. Roadhog had his HP increase from 600 to 700, and his take a breather healing that's nothing. went. It means, that, it means that you can't one shot, um, guys, you can't one shot fucking uh, mid health characters, right? Up from 300 to 350 as well, so it stays at half his HP. Look maps. And his ultimate whole hog had its function changed from a channeled ultimate to a transformation ultimate. Wait, this good, is guys, guys. Okay, you guys are probably bronze players, okay? Uh, charge is like incredibly hard to land on somebody all the way through with all the CC in the game these days, so I don't know what the fuck you guys are talking about. Like, what? Buff, because it allows Roadhog to start and stop himself from firing whenever he pleases, like allowing him to bypass like counters like to get a charge in. Grasp, for example. Sigma had his HP increase from 400 to 550 with a 350 white health, 200 shield split. His experimental barrier regen rate has increased from 80 to 100 health per second. Last, his accretion damage has increased from 70 to 100, which is an incredible buff to allow him to one-shot 200 HP heroes with a follow-up primary fire. Winston has 50 what? more what armor, the increasing his total HP from 500 to 550. He now has a brand new secondary fire, which charges and fires a 30 meter long jolt of electricity. It deals up to 50 damage and costs 12 ammo at max charge. His bubble cooldown- You know something really, really cool though? Okay, I, I, I know this is probably a, a bad design choice. Okay? If you got the, uh, a damage reduction, so you can tank more, per enemies you're hitting with your left click. So say so you're hitting like 5 people, it's like, 3% damage reduction per, per character, whatever, right? You're hitting, like, you're hitting, you're hitting 4, right? You're getting like 12% damage reduction overall. Electricity. It deals with damage melee, and you're, costs 12 you're ammo at max you're charge. His yeah, bubble no. cooldown was reduced from 13 to 12, and his duration was reduced from 9 to 8 seconds. His ultimate, Primal Rage, oh, also costs 21% more, which is a relatively hefty nerf. Wrecking Ball got a buff to his- Wait, no shot. Wait, what? You, you can make that 20% by doing right clicks. It doesn't matter that much. Costs 21% more, which is a relatively hefty nerf. Wrecking Ball got a buff to his HP from 600 to 700, plus 50 to the white health, and plus 50 to armor. His fireball knockback has Wait, been increased health, by 36%. Wow. Adaptive shield increased from plus 75 to plus 100 bonus per enemy nearby, with a wider area of effect range from 8 meters to 10 meters. Jesus However, Ball Christ. Overwatch 1 was unique because you couldn't earn any alt charge shooting as temporary shields. It has now been converted to green overhealth in Overwatch 2, which does grant half the normal rate of alt charge, making it an indirect nerf to Ball. Zarya had her HP buff from 400 to 475, with plus 50 on the white health and plus 25 on the I'm shield. Gonna, uh, the bubbles now share chat. one set of. Guys, I had a post about this. I feel like Zarya sucks now. She's just 
bad. Cooldowns at 10 seconds per charge with two total charges, and she can choose to use it on herself or an ally. Bubbles' duration is longer from know. two seconds she to 2.5 seconds. It. However, you lose your energy faster now, though, with its degeneration rate increased from 1.8 to 2.2 energy per second. Finally, her graviton surge duration was nerfed from 4 to 3.5 seconds. Before moving on to the DPS heroes, let's quickly go over the new role passive for them. All DPS heroes now gain 25% movement speed and 25% increased reload speed upon an elimination. Ash oh, only okay. had oh, one change, God. which was Bob's HP being nerfed I thought from 1200 to 1000. I was like, hello? Ash got a rework. His recon mode damage was increased from 20 to 25. Its weapon spread was reduced from 1.2 to 0, which means no recoil. However, his fire rate is a lot slower from 8 rounds to 5 rounds per second. And the ammo count is down from 35 to 25. His configuration oh, yeah, sentry no. form has been renamed to configuration assault, aka his turret form. He's now mobile, although slightly slower at a 35% move speed penalty. It lasts. A lot of these changes make, make the game, I feel like, much more skirmishy and less like uh, team fight, like, uh, like team base. I feel like balling up isn't like... Um... Fantastic anyway compared to what it was before. I don't Six know. seconds and it goes on a 12 that's second good. cooldown I don't, I don't agree with that. While firing, he has infinite ammo, a constant weapon spread of two degrees, and deals yeah, yeah. yeah. Bastion no longer has self-repair and it's been replaced with A36 tactical grenade. This launches a nade that bounces off walls and can stick on enemies and deal up to a hundred. Yes, it's good because you want to be like you want to be like DPS and just just be doing damage all the time, right? And be like sneaking in and booming everybody but, but with DPS, but Overall, the feel of the game will erode a little bit. Damage damage after a short Love delay, you. you can also do some fun. You could have DPS though. You know that it's bad. His ultimate is now that. called Artillery, as he no longer goes into tank form. He's locked into place and can launch three long-range artillery shells that deal up to 600 damage with sharp fall off, and it can headshot for up to 1,200 damage. Whoa. Cassidy's Whoa. fan the hammer fire rate has increased by 7.5%. His combat role now has a 50% damage reduction during usage, so if you time it correctly, you, like you can survive burst name. damage like Pulse Bomb, for example. The big change, though, is Flashbang, which has been removed and replaced with Magnetic Grenade. This deals 131 damage split between 1 damage on impact, 65 splash damage, and 65 direct damage hey! to the stuck target. Deadeye's duration has increased from 6 to 7.2 seconds, but it does cost 10% more. It also grants 40% damage reduction while channeling it, which is a nice buff. However, its damage ramp up over time has significantly changed, and it's easier to just show you a graph. In short, Overwatch 2's Deadeye is slightly stronger up until roughly 1.2 seconds, and then it gets significantly weaker over time compared to the Overwatch 1 version. Wait, what? Echo's focusing beam max DPS has been reduced from 200 to 175 on targets yeah. under 50% health. You, man. Her duplicate was also nerfed where her HP cannot exceed 300 HP, making it so that duping tanks isn't as high of a priority anymore. Oh wow. Genji received no changes, but Love he really you. does benefit from the DPS roll pass That's a lot. Massive. Anzo had a storm arrow damage nerf from 70 to 65, which definitely affects his elimination breakpoints, especially on 200 HP targets. Yep. Junkrat had the projectile size hitbox of his grenades increased from 0.2 meters to 0.25 meters. His steel trap now comes out at 15 per second rather than 10 meters per second, which allows you to throw it farther. For May, her primary fire no longer months. free stuns Keep people. Instead, it now slows people for a fixed 50% slow end. instead of it building up over time. The slow Hello, duration Hello. itself has been reduced from 1 to 0.5 seconds. Its DPS, though, has significantly Not increased from 55 to 100, months. and the ammo has increased from 120 to 150. Her cryo freeze no longer months. removes the effects of Sigma's Gravitic Flux, Overwatch. and that specific matchup. Her Ice Wall man. individual pillar health has been reduced from 400 to 250, so it's easier to break through now. And the maximum range of it was reduced from 35 to 20 meters. And finally, what? her Blizzard cost has increased by 15%, so it'll be Pac very man. slow to build. Wait. I don't know actually about this. Reload just, uh... time has shortened from 1.5 to 1.25 seconds when completely out of ammo, which is a nice small buff. Her Concussive Blast now has 30 damage on hit instead of zero, and it has additional knockback on a direct hit. Oh wow. Here's a very convincing visual with a direct knockback onto Sombra versus the splash knockback on Genji. You can really see the difference here. Reaper's damage has been nerfed from 6 to 5.4 damage per pellet. His spread was also nerfed as it's How much? Nerf from 6 to 5.4 damage per pellet. That's His insane! His spread was also nerfed as it's increased from 6 to 7 degrees. Sojourn is a brand new hero in Overwatch 2, and here's a quick overview. 
She has 200 you HP and fires a projectile rail. Soldier's damage is down quite a bit from 20 to 18. Oh, that oh, Here's a quick overview. She has 200 HP and fires a projectile railgun that deals 9 damage per shot with 45 max ammo. It also generates energy, which you can see in the center of your screen, that multiplies the damage dealt on her secondary fire, which is a hit scan and can headshot. At 100 energy, the secondary fire deals 130 to the body, but 260 to the head. Her power she's slide like a is a soldier. movement ability that can be soldier, but she's like a reverse soldier. leap into the air. Her disruptor shot is a huge AoE that slows and deals up to 210 damage in total, and her ultimate automatically charges her railgun energy to 100, and it now pierces. Oh wow, you, you now you have a meter. Is down quite a bit from 20 to 18 per bullet. His sprint movement speed is also down from 50 to 40 percent. Attack visor got changed and it now allows you to crit and headshot, so it's actually worth going for the headshots despite that aim bot. However, it no longer removes damage fall off, so Visor will deal a lot less at farther ranges. Sombra had a lot of changes. First, her maximum damage has gone down from 8 to 7 per bullet, but at least her spread is 10% tighter and improved Wait. from 2.4 to 2.16 degrees. That makes it a little unaffected actually. a long list of changes. First, it's on a flat Wait. 4 second cool. Chat, aren't his fall off ranges like very punishing for a soldier? They're pretty hardcore, are they not? Cool down. It's After cooldown is no like longer reduced with hacking a health pack. Its cast time Soldier has increased from 0 0.65 to 0 0.85 seconds. Health pack so hack duration brutal. is down from 60 to 30 Two seconds. Years. And the ability- Guys, his falloffs are 30 meters and 50 meters. That's insane. Ability lockout duration, aka the silence, has gone down from 5 to 1.75 seconds. Pack targets are now revealed through the walls for Sombra's team. Hero specific changes include destroying Baptiste's immortality field oh, and wow. locking Bob out for two seconds instead of five. Her passive, Opportunist, allows her to deal 40% more damage on a hack target, which is a massive That's buff. That's crazy. Her stealth fade in time is 50% faster, and the invisibility detection radius has been increased from two to four meters, which is a nerf. That means you'll bump into enemies a little more easily. That's good. The biggest you, buff, however, is uh, that you can hack you, while stealth uh, with a temporary 0.75 second reveal. EMP has also been significantly changed, and it still does what it used to do, but it no longer removes all the enemies' shield HP, but instead deals 40% of their the current HP no matter what. Demetra got a lot of changes. First, her ammo has increased from 70 to 100. However, she no longer regenerates ammo when damaging barriers, which is a nerf. Her secondary fire damage has been reduced wait, from what? 120 to 90. I wait, I didn't even know she did that. Huh? Barriers, which is a nerf. Her secondary fire damage has been reduced from 120 to 90 at full charge, along with the splash Wait. damage also decreasing from 60 to 45. The projectile speed has doubled though, so it's way oh, faster from 25 okay, to 50 meters per second. The sentry turret projectile speed flies out a bit quicker now from 15 to 20 meters per second, however the slow itself per turret is down from 20 to 15%. Teleporter has received some changes, so let's start with the nerfs. First, its HP is down from 300 to 200, losing 100 HP from the blue shields. Another nerf is that its duration used to be infinite, now it's only 20 seconds. However, there are some buffs. Its deployment time has doubled, so it's much quicker from 2 to 1 second. And its cooldown of 12 seconds now yeah. begins <clears throat> upon placement rather than it's a- It's kind of hard to have a take about this because it's it's like a lot of changes that they do a lot of stuff at some time. So it's like, I don't even know what that would have to take. It's, it's, you you have to play the game to really know. Destruction. Torb's rate of fire is much quicker now. It's very polarizing if it shooting from 1.67 to 1.82 shots per second. The secondary fire shotgun is also up from 1.25 to 1.43 shots per second. Overload no longer grants armor and instead grants over health, which has no damage mitigation properties and still gives half all charge, so it's a net Oh, nerf. that's pretty bad. Tracer yeah, that's, only that's had dog her shit. damage nerfed, but it's a big one, from 6 to 5 damage per bullet, which is a 16% damage nerf. I don't think Tor was a problem, though. the last DPS though. Widowmaker, her HP is back at 200 from 175. Very cool. Before moving on to the supports, we need to talk about their new role passive. They will now self-heal 15 HP per second after 1.5 seconds of not taking any damage. Ooh. Anna had her ammo increase from 12 to 15. And Overwatch 2 Wait, wants- Wait, isn't that too quick? 1.5 is really fast. That is, that is, that is incredibly fast. To reduce CC, so Sleep Dart's cooldown has increased from 12 to 15 seconds. And biotic Grenade's effect duration has decreased from 4 to 3 seconds. Well, 1.5 means that um, basically you're against a Tracer, you, you you dodge a clip, you turn a corner, and you're always starting to regen. 
Baptiste got some massive buffs in Overwatch 2. First, his primary fire damage is up from 24 to 25 per round. And now the damage fall off kicks in at 25 meters instead of 20 meters, which is a buff because that means That's you deal massive. your full damage for a farther distance before it starts scaling down. The secondary fire healing grenade ammo is up from 10 to 13. And his regen burst is insane now, where instead of 20 HP per second over 5 seconds, it now instantly heals for 50 HP and then 10 per second for 5 seconds. Both are still a total of 100 HP when compared to oh, Overwatch 1 no. and Overwatch 2, but that instant burst of HP is way more valuable. It gets even better though because that instant 50 HP heal now doubles. Wait, instant heals are they're they're hardcore, dude. I'm sure I, I've always said this. Instant heals are super hardcore. You have to be careful. Just have 100 HP flat on targets that are less than half health. Nuts. Briggs Inspire passive heals 15 HP per second in both games, but its duration because is Because compared compared to healing over time, instant healing it, it's 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 dramatic. It's increased it's from difference. 6 to 5 seconds. Yeah, so you don't get a the total healing that. output went down from 90 to 75 HP. Shield Bash got a ton of changes. First the big nerf with the removal of the 0.75 second stun. However, it did come with 6 buffs. The huh. cooldown is decreased from 7 to 5 seconds, its damage is increased from 5 to 50, the max range increased from 7 to 12 meters, Jesus. the knockback itself is doubled, she is no longer halted when impacting enemy barriers, and the inspire passive is now triggered upon hitting the bash. Rally has changed from building up armor to building up over health, which is technically a nerf for her because armor has damage uh. mitigation properties. Kiriko is the newest support in Overwatch 2, and here's a quick- Well, okay, okay, so she's gonna be annoying because now she can brawl, but she's not gonna be disruptive, which is the main, pro main problem that she was before. Quick overview. First, she fires two healing Ofuda papers at a time for 26 HP each and 130 HP total per cycle. These seek and follow your teammates as long as the heals were activated while your crosshair was near your teammates, so it rewards good tracking. Her damage comes from her kunais that deal 40 damage to the body and 120 to the head Jesus. and have 12 ammo. These have no fall off damage at long ranges. Swift Step is her teleport ability that allows her to instantly reappear behind her selected teammate. Protection Suzu is a charm that heals 50 HP over a one Yeah, they're hard to hit, but the, th the thing that, we, that everybody hates that I watch though is that, oh man, when you do get hit on some corner, you lose an entire push because Oh guys, I got headshot by the support. I don't, it's just kind of like lame. A like, I don't know what to tell you, that's just lame. It makes allies invulnerable for one second and cleanses negative effects like stuns and anti-heals. Her ultimate Kitsune Rush now summons a 25 meter Fox Spirit pathway that accelerates movement speed by 50%, attack speed by 25%, and reduces cooldowns by three times the speed. Oh yeah, and she can wall climb too because she trained with the Shimadas. Lucio's self-healing aura has Three been reduced times. from about 12 HP per second to 6 HP. Wait, chat, what would be broken to combine with that then? Wait, what abilities, uh, uh, wait, that's busted. HP per second. However, his sound barrier was buffed because the cost has gone down by 12%, and instead of the dark blue temp shields like it was in Overwatch 1, it now grants green over health, yeah, cool which is down, a buff for Lucio, because it now reduces alt charge gain from damaging it by 50%, whereas it had no unique properties in Overwatch 1. Mercy had huge changes to her Guardian Angel because using it now builds up a momentum charge meter. She can launch herself by jumping to cancel the GA, consuming the charge, and then flings in any direction she's facing, or she can go backwards relative to Mercy if you hold the backwards directional input. She can also cancel Guardian Angel at any time by using the crouch key, launching her straight up into the air. This is effectively a super jump button, and it makes it so much easier and consistent to use. Her passive regeneration went from okay. self-healing 20 HP per second after not taking damage for one second, to now a 50% increase in the generic support passive healing, which basically translates to- Passive, change of 20 HP to, uh, to um, that's not- 22.5 HP per second after not- Wait, I'm not getting- I don't even agree with this. Because uh, her passive was, was really good for her, but now that that removes her passive by buffing a little bit, Com because of the because of the global p passive, does that make sense? I feel like after three seconds, it should be way higher to um, not taking damage for 1.5 second. Her other passive, angelic stacks? ascent, can now slow no, the doesn't... ascent speed as well, which can be activated with both jump or crouch now. And this was likely added to guys because you... now her passive, her cool ability is that she heals 2.5 more than everybody else, right? 
dampen your new crouch super jump button by, you know, holding the crouch button so you don't ascend as high. Moira received no nice changes though. from Overwatch 1 to Overwatch 2 since they scrapped the necrotic orb idea from the beta. Finally for Zen, he had a nerf to his Discord orb linger duration from 3 to 2 seconds once your target is out of your line of sight. Uh, gonna... He does have a new passive called Snap Kick though, which increases his melee damage from 30 to 45 and it knocks enemies back for Holy! a crazy fun Sparta Kick. Thanks for making it to the end here, appreciate- Wait, that's kind of insane! For a crazy fun Sparta Kick. Thanks for making it to the end here, appreciate it, please subscribe- Well, but because, um... Jumping is a predictable in games when you jump you're predictable, right? So it's easier for him to do um, kick headshots, which is kind of crazy to be yeah. honest. If, if, if you get this or kick a kick the headshot, you're just kind of dead. Sparta kick. Thanks for making it to the end here. Appreciate it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I know a lot of these videos show up on your recommended feed, but you haven't hit the subscribe button. If you do, really appreciate it. And you can come to my Twitch almost at twitch.tv slash I'm going to be live almost every day, at least during season one of Overwatch 2. I'll see you there. Oh, subscribe, man. That was nice. I enjoyed that. Holy! Almost there! From 40k- Ladies and gentlemen, hello! Ah, oh, no, no, Celso, you know you can fucking German. This mother suck my swear, man.